Online class for kids. Greetings, learners of online class for kids. We have reached the center of experimentation and discovery today. Welcome to the Science Laboratory. To do science experiments, many tools in the laboratory will help us. Let's take a look at some of them. This is a ruler. This tool helps us measure the length of objects. Let's try to use it. Let us measure this ball pen using the ruler. Can you tell me now how long is the ball pen? Very good! It's 14 centimeters long. You can also try measuring other things at home using a ruler. This is a magnifying glass. This tool helps us make small things look bigger so we can observe them properly. Let's try it, shall we? Can you read what is written in the middle? Let's try to use the magnifying glass. How about now? What does it say? That's right! It says, Science! This is a thermometer. This tool helps us measure the temperature of things, or how hot or cold something is. Can you tell me what the temperature of the ice cube is? Excellent! The temperature of the ice cube is 0 degrees Celsius or 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's go to the next tool. This is a beaker. This tool helps us measure the volume of things or how much space a substance takes up. Let's try an example. Can you tell me how many milliliters of water are there in the measuring cup? The measuring cup contains 10 milliliters. Very good! This is a balance. This tool helps us measure the weight of an object by comparing it with another object. Let's try using it. We put an apple on one side and a 100 gram metal weight on the other. It seems that they are balanced, which means the weight of the apple is also 100 grams. This is a microscope. Microscopes are very important as they allow us to observe tiny specimens. They are not seen by the naked eye. A scientist places the specimen under the microscope to observe very small objects. This is a test tube. These are cylindrical pipes that come in different sizes. Test tubes are used to store or mix different chemicals. These are droppers. They come in a variety of sizes. A dropper or pasture pipettes is a laboratory tool used to put liquid solutions or chemicals in any medium. This can be done by squeezing the rubber holder to collect the liquid and squeezing it again to drop it in a solution. Cool, right? This is a tweezer. Tweezers are used to precisely grip materials 
and various substances. A must-have. This is a spatula. Like a kitchen spatula, laboratory spatulas are tools that have multiple uses. Spatulas are great for mixing, lifting, or steering materials. This is a beret. A beret is marked with measurements and is used to measure and dispense both liquids and gases. It is most commonly used for the titration process. This is a watch glass. These are concave glasses used to hold solids, evaporate liquids, and heat small amounts of substances. Kind of like a plate. This is a barometer. A barometer is used to measure atmospheric pressure. And lastly, this is a funnel. Funnels are tools that are used to pour substances into a container. Now that we have learned about the different kinds of laboratory tools, let us review. Which of these tools is used to measure the length of objects? That's right, it's the ruler. Very good. Which of these tools is used to make small things look bigger? That's right, it's the magnifying glass. Very good. Which of these tools is used to measure the temperature of things? That's right. It's the thermometer. Very good. Which of these tools is used to measure the volume of things? That's right. It's the beaker. Very good. Which of these tools is used to measure the weight of an object? That's right! It's the balance! Very good! I hope you had a wonderful time learning about science laboratory tools! See you next time for another fun good learning only here at Online Class for Kids. Visit onlineclassforkids.com for more fun learning videos and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.